This is Fukushima, one of the biggest agricultural producers in Japan before the nuclear disaster. Today, its resilient farming community is allowing consumers to once again enjoy produce from the region. Enthusiastic producers, along with decontamination efforts that, according to Japanese authorities, reduced radioactivity rates to the same level as major cities, are allowing agriculture to gradually grow back. After 12 years, Suzuki Brewery recently returned to its hometown in Namie, one of the hardest hit areas. The old brewery, swept away by the tsunami, was near the port. Brewers had a close link with fishermen. Its sake was served to celebrate the big catches. Back in Namie, Daizuki Suzuki wants to give a sense of hope and support to the local community. Before the earthquake, there were about 120 fishing boats, but now there are less than 30. To support the local fishing industry, we measured the compatibility of fish dishes that locals eat with our sake, and we combined them with AI to develop a sake called Fish Sake Mariage. Sake is made using a different rice to that which you eat. And after the soil decontamination process, cultivating rice for food was the priority. So Daisuki started innovating. I made the sake with rice that we actually eat, and I really think it's delicious. Moreover, I thought that through sake, I could spread the fact that the rice produced in Namie has nothing strange about it. Farmers and producers in the region try to cope with consumer concerns with innovative initiatives. Like Wonder Farm, a tomato theme park in Iwaki City. Greenhouses and a cutting-edge production system without soil allowed Hiroshi Motoki to increase the production after the disaster. He uses tomatoes to revitalize the region. By getting consumers to visit his farm, pick their own fruits and taste their quality. Customers will understand the vegetables are safe if they see the local area and know about the producers who pick the vegetables. My aim is to restore agriculture and tourism. Is the reason why, in addition to farming, I built a restaurant, a farm shop and a processing plant. I would like to create a facility where people can come and have fun. Being hands-on, visitors can experience agriculture and enjoy tomato dishes or buy unique produce like tomato miso or even tomato ice cream, all made in Motoki's farm. After the earthquake, I ended up connecting with a lot of different people. Everyone fell in love with the produce from Fukushima. Many of them thought it was a shame that such tasty, good quality products couldn't be shipped. They wanted to help me send them all over the world. His farm is now an agricultural regional hub where local farmers take their fresh vegetables to be sold or transformed into cooking products. We travel to Tokyo to meet Dominique Gorbi, a French chef and owner of a French-Japanese restaurant. He's just received Motoki's tomatoes. Dominique started working with Fukushima's producers in 2010. Just a few days before the disaster, he was there on a field visit. The news impacted him, and that's how he got involved in the recovery and follow-up of the production. This is one of Japan's richest regions, not only in terms of personal wealth, but in terms of produce. You can eat 100% safely. I have seen all the steps in order to sell the produce. It's incredible. So I think that the products of Fukushima can be eaten with real pleasure and a love for food. Just like these tomatoes that he prepares raw to enjoy the flavor and quality. It's just salt, pepper and olive oil. Is it good? It's very good. It's of exceptional quality. 